Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting pretty geriatric at this point. I've been using that term all day long for some reason. I'm getting pretty geriatric as in I am, I am falling asleep. I am literally that tired. But in real time, we're doing the best we can here. So, Ravens, nevermore. Ravens, nevermore. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me every week, man. Don't do this to me every single week. You know, week 10... It, it was uh, it was a week, all right. It was a week ten, all right. You know the Giants got steamrolled by the Dallas Cowboys yet again. Baltimore, you know Deshaun Watson has no shoulder, and he beat Baltimore. Like Baltimore had like a fourteen point lead at one point. It was like twenty one to three or something like that, and you know a couple costly picks and. Cleveland's defense clamping up and, you know, things just going the way Cleveland wanted them to go. And now the, the Browns are in the AFC North mix. We're, we're, there's a, In fact, every team in the AFC North is in the mix. Yes, despite Joe Burrow getting picked off twice by the Texas defense. And yes, C.J. Stroud has been amazing. Houston with another big victory. You know, again, the Steelers are 6-3 somehow. So the AFC North is insane. In fact, I think all the teams right now, if we were to start the playoffs right now, all of the AFC North teams would be in. I have no I I, I just I genuinely don't understand it. Um Yeah, I don't know. Um one thing I forgot to add, the Bills lost yet again somehow to the to the to the Broncos. I I I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, the Chargers defense failed, too. I just don't get it. You know, Jared Goff and Justin Herbert were having a duel of duels out there. It was what a fun game that was. And then the 49ers beat up the Jags. My goodness, Bosa and Young. That That's going to be a combination to watch over the next few weeks, you know? Um, so, yeah. It was a crazy, crazy week 10, I'll tell you that much. Um you know, it, it's it's something, you know, it's something, uh, you know, this week. You know, we have Burrow versus Jackson. Both teams coming up a loss on a Thursday night. Interesting, interesting stuff. You know, the AFC North is still up for grabs right now and everything like that. And like, nobody is really solidified their position in the AFC North. So, somebody has to win this game. Honestly, if, if, the, if the Ravens don't, we're, we're getting either the Ravens that can blow a team out or the or a Ravens team that will give up a lead. Which one are we going to get? I, I, I don't know at this point. I, I'm thinking it's the team that will blow a lead. But we will see what Burrow can do. And, you know, I think T. Higgins is out for this game, I think. So, you know, that's going to amp up the chase usage and, you know, Boyd, Tyler Boyd usage even more. Maybe even Joe Nixon. Uh, Pittsburgh, again, another AFC North matchup. They have to go up against Cleveland. You know, one of the best defenses in the league. P.J. Walker has to lead the way now since, you know, Deshaun Watson is, blah, you know, done for the year. And then even though these games are mid, in a way, Jets, Bills, Broncos, Vikings, the, the entire country is going to see the Broncos, who somehow beat the Bills, and the Bills, again, have lost to the Jets already, and that was the Monday night opener, you know, in which, you know, Aaron Rodgers got hurt, so, like, the, the, there's precedent here, and the Bills have to save their season, you know, Josh Allen has been kicking up turnover after turnover after turnover. Defense, you know, is, you know, injured to hell and back, non existent at this point. So it, it's kind of a wishy washy streak. Ken Dorsey got fired as the OC, too. You know, the Bills have lost the Jets already. That's the main thing here. I don't think you want to see the Jets sweep the Bills, do you? I mean, I don't know. And we're wondering if Josh Dobbs, you know, can keep his streak up. He's been playing really good football over the past few weeks. Um, the Chargers, they have to save their season, you know, I think, against a Packers team that is very good. And then the Super Bowl rematch on Monday night to close it all off. So we got a nice 
Thursday night, got a nice, you know, Monday night football matchup, you know, a pair of games, you know, in the later windows on Sunday that aren't that great, but now they're looking a little better. So we, 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 we got we got a couple stories right here. So Hurts versus Mahomes, you know, the Chiefs defense against the Eagles offense. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun game. The Super Bowl rematch is going to be fun. Couldn't tell you who's going to win because both these teams have been kind of inconsistent in their ways. You know, I'd say the Chiefs more so, but the Chiefs, uh, their offense isn't as their offense isn't as good this year, and you know the Eagles' offense also hasn't been as great this year. Like they show up, but there's times where they do not show up at all. You know, same thing with the Eagles' defense, and I'd say the Chiefs' defense is a little bit better. So, you know, this Super Bowl rematch is going to be one hell of a game. I think it's going to be one hell of a way to start Thanksgiving week, man. Going to be one hell of a way to start it. Can't wait to talk to you all. This weekend regarding the AFL, yes, AFL 3.0, college basketball, you know, and then, you know, next week, you know, we get, we're get getting really into the grind of getting towards the end of the year and everything like that to celebrate this channel, continuing to grow somehow. Well, kind of stagnate with its growth, but you get what I mean, you know, because I don't make videos every single day and everything like that, you know. I tried dates every now and again. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. And I'm going to get on out of y'all's hair. And I'm going to see y'all this weekend. Probably both videos are going to be very early videos. Just to be real with y'all. To get them out of the way early in the morning. Before, you know, I start, you know, my 24 straight hours of football consumption. As I usually do on the weekends. So... Y'all take care, have a good night, and I will see you all very, very soon, which is in about 72 hours or so. So have a good rest of y'all's week.